Some criticisms of the Bible are very sophisticated. Whether it's a philosophical argument or a claim supported by scientific data, these criticisms can be quite difficult to handle. Other criticisms aren't so difficult. For instance, most of them that come in the form of memes are fairly easily answered. Take this one I found on Facebook, for instance. It says, how did Jesus find guys named Peter, John, James, Matthew, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, and Simon in the Middle East? Well, whoever made this seems to think that these are English names, and they are now, but they were fairly popular in Judea two to 3,000 years ago. For starters, the name Peter comes from the Greek word Petros, which means rock. So why does a Jewish man have a Greek name? It's because Alexander the Great conquered the ancient Middle East in the late 300s BC. He spread Greek culture everywhere he went as far away as Egypt. So Greek names were actually very popular among Jews in the time of Jesus. The name John comes from the Hebrew name Yohanan, which means Yahweh is gracious. James has the most convoluted etymology of any name on this list, but is ultimately derived from the Hebrew name Yaakov, or Jacob, which has roots in the ancient Near East extending back to at least the beginning of the second millennium BC. Matthew was originally Matayahu, a Hebrew name meaning gift of Yahweh. Andrew comes from the Greek name Andreas, which means brave, strong, or courageous. Philip is a Greek name derived from the word Philippos, which means fond of horses. One of the most famous Philips in history was Alexander the Great's father, Philip II of Macedon. Thomas is another word with a complicated etymology, but it ultimately comes from the Aramaic word for twin. Aramaic is a Northwest Semitic language closely related to Hebrew. Simon comes from the Hebrew name Shimon and was among the most popular names for Jewish men in the first century AD. So, of all these names, over half of them are Semitic. The rest are Greek because of Greek cultural influence at the time. So, like most people who put out half-baked criticisms on the internet, whoever made this meme didn't really know what they were talking about because all of these names were born by lots of real people living in the ancient Middle East.